you know, I love how Ackerson comes in and kind of shakes everything up. I'm curious for you, what would you say is driving him when we start this season? And what do you think he thinks of Master Chief? Ackerson comes in with a tremendous amount of confidence. And what he wants to do is ingrain in everyone that he's the boss, but he doesn't want to do it in an overbearing kind of way. He wants to do it, you, you know, he loves to manipulate people. So he wants to find the little chinks in their armor and catch them off guard and make them feel like he's there as their friend and they can rely on him, but also don't ever question him. You know, that, I think that's his mandate coming into it. And so that's why he, you know, he bursts into the briefing room and takes a seat and then immediately stands up and takes the stage quite literally stands on the stage and talks to them how I don't want you to see me as the you know taking over this but I am taking over this is is what he's saying you know so uh, that was a lot of fun to play and that was kind of how he wanted to treat that moment and then I think he needs chief to get in line and, he, and in the beginning, he's kind of gauging. He, he recognizes the power of Master Chief, of course, as a soldier, but as, as a figure. Um, and he knows that he needs Chief to do his job. He needs, he needs Chief there. But he also, as he makes it clear to Master Chief, you know, Chief is just a man in a suit. And I can get a different man in that same suit, you know. And it'll work just as well. So I think he, he wants Chief to realize that he is also expendable if he won't get in line. There's also a, you know, without giving too much away, there's a little bit of a hopeless aspect of him that I even, I don't know if I'm just reading into this, but early on it even felt like you get kind of hints of that. Uh, do, did you have a favorite scene in getting the chance to, to bring him to life in terms of like getting all these uh, these little bits to come out to the surface, I guess. Yeah, I, I did. And, you know, I feel like episode three as a whole, I feel like for me was a, a, a great showcase of the different sides of Ackerson because I got to interact with a number of different characters, you know, Halsey and, and, and Cortana and Ackerson's dad, James Ackerson Sr., um, and keys and and show a, a a variety of different emotion and that was wonderful. My favorite scene was probably that scene with Ackerson Senior because I feel like it just had that vulnerability. It was as close to Ackerson being his genuine self when his guard was down with his dad and genuinely regretful that he has to literally sacrifice his father for the greater good. You know, he's really giving up the the one person he has left, his family, the, the one person he cares about. And so that to me was an essential scene because it, it would potentially help Ackerson become more relatable, but also it was just an absolute pleasure to film because Bill Patterson's a legend and he is a, such a talented actor. And so that it was a, a, a career high for me, certainly. What is the cast like to work with? Because you certainly get some awesome scenes between these few key people that just stand out. I mean, yeah, I was lucky I got to work with almost everyone on the cast. Um, and they were just great from the beginning. You know, everyone had been there for a whole other season before I got there. And so it was... Uh, so wonderful how welcoming they were and how talented they are and how invested in in making the best show possible and playing the best scenes possible and so that was wonderful and also for me because I'm you know I was finding the character through the season I was finding how okay how is he in in relation to Kai how does he react to Kai and how is he with Master Chief and so you're sort of trying to suss this out while you're doing it which is great because Ackerson is trying to suss out these people who he's only just met, you know, so I could really use all of that to my advantage. And I, I do love that there's this, you know, there's this constant branching up of the tension between all these, these characters that you're just constantly getting cranked and cranked and cranked. Does that, uh, is that a fun thing to play off of? Because you're obviously, you're part of the reason everyone's getting kind of, ramped up here <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah of course that's the fact because you're causing the drama instead of picking up the pieces you know that's that's something i love is um 
scenes that allow you to do that and that escalate in that way, you know, whether it's within the scene or a longer game of, you know, through the episodes. But, yeah, it's absolutely a fun part of that role and certainly something I look for in, in roles. The, the second you tell Master Chief to sit down, you know where things are going. I, I love that. Yeah, I loved that scene as well because it's it's all about catching him off guard. And then Chief says, can I go now at the end? And he says, no. <laughs> you know, and I love that because, because the more the Chief gets tense, the more I felt like Ackerson sits back. Like it's working. It's working. <laughs> Well, the last thing I'd like to know is I know you're a bit of a gamer, so I'm curious, you know, I, I, I read a bit that you had replayed some of the Halo stuff. Do you have memories of a favorite Halo moment for you gaming? I mean, yeah, I, like I played the Halo when it came out, Halo Combat Evolved, and I played with uh, my best mate, who's also an actor, Matt Ryan, and we played through the campaign co-op. So just those afternoons on the couch, you know, as a team, fighting aliens together, you know, uh, I mean, it's wonderful. And I, I'm still a big gamer, and I, really the co-op aspect of gaming is something that I most enjoy trying to, rather than the, the multi, massive multiplayer where you're fighting against each other, and I'm killed very quickly by some 13 year old somewhere yeah 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 same same yeah <laughs> yeah so I, I i like to uh to work together to defeat a, a common enemy to overcome a challenge with a friend that's that's my kind of gaming and you pick the friend who's really good at it <laughs> you, you do and then you you constantly get revived by them <laughs> thank you so much for the time have a great day thank you 